Yeah, yeah, this your boy T Nasty, and I got another adult video for y'all, man. It's another banger by Lackluster, man. They actually put him away for this lawsuit. So, without further ado, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Leave your boys some comments and let me know what uh, I should react to next. You know what I'm saying? I, I can react to anything, bro. Just let me know in the comment section what I should react to next. Uh, but let's go on and get to this reaction. Uh, oh, my goodness. Okay, give me. I saw him stop. No. You need a witness, let me know. Why are you yelling, sir? <laughs> Watch your back. Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. On January 25th of 2022, a student of McLennan County Community College in Waco, when? Texas January? was driving to class and shortly after pulling into the lot, an officer working for the school pulls in behind him, blocking the entire path of travel through the lot. 713 traffic. You can just stay in your vehicle. The officer radios in the vehicle's license plate, while Professor Casey Hubbard Wado. pulls in behind her on his way to a parking spot. Simple. You might have to go around. Casey Hubble was a tenured professor. For 16 years, he taught federal and state government. Because of his tenure and what he taught, it is likely that he knows quite a bit more about the law than your average traffic officer. He is also a disabled veteran after serving in the airborne infantry and requires a cane to get around. The officer's cruiser was unnecessarily blocking his direct access to the available handicapped parking spots, so he asked the officer to move her cruiser. Hello, how are you? My name is Officer Edges and I'm with MCC Police Department. Do you have your driver's license and insurance on you? I do, ma'am. The reason I stopped you? Oh my goodness. Okay, give me. Okay, I'm in. Okay, I'm in the middle of a traffic stop, sir. Professor Hubble also claims that the man in the Mustang had preceded him through the campus intersection and now tells the officer that he saw him come to a complete stop at the stop sign. I'll move in just a second. I saw him stop. No. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> that's okay. Do you have your driver's license on you? I, that's what I mean. I left oh, my wallet. Oh, you left your wallet at home. So you can okay. run the plates. Thank you. Sir. <laughs> I think I think we'll be fine. Uh, my insurance. What is your name? Okay. Give me, give, me one, give me one second and let me move my yeah. vehicle so he'll stop. He can't get to his handicap spot. The officer eventually moves her vehicle, and Professor Hubble parks and goes inside. By the time a backup officer arrives, seven minutes later, Professor Hubble was already in his classroom, but the first officer warned about the professor, exaggerating the encounter to make it seem worse than it was. Watch your back. There was one guy that got really irritated with me because I was doing this traffic stop, and then he started interjecting, going, he stopped, he stopped and I'm gonna find out he's in that black Mustang. I'm gonna find out if he works here because that was inappropriate. That was a Camaro, all right? He was upset because he couldn't drive this way to park and then he could have went around, but he just wanted to be rude. I mean, he got out of his car yelling. You can ask him. Oh, he kind of did. If you, need a, if you need a warning or if you need help, uh, about if you need to let me if you need a witness let me know and for what yes. it's okay, already so inside the driver was let go with a warning but the officer followed up with her encounter with professor hubble one week after the 32nd incident he was arrested in a campus stairwell while really he was the campus for interference with public duties the professor was placed in a tiny holding cell for seven hours before being moved to general population with 30 to 35 inmates gym pop for that I mean, no way, bro. Most of whom were charged with felony offenses. Hubble remained in jail until evening the following day. During that time, he was denied the use of his cane and medication. After his release, the school's president, John Eck McCone, revoked Hubble's tenure and terminated his employment because of the arrest on campus. Per section 38. What? For that? No shot, bro. Do they not do they all um, investigations at this on campus? They literally, like, let him go because of that? Now, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, bro. No way they let him go for that, bro. For that? 
8.15, interference is an offense if a person with criminal negligence interrupts, disrupts, impedes, or otherwise interferes with a peace officer while the peace officer is performing a duty or exercising authority imposed or granted I by law. I get that, but However, that was so like minimum, bro. D provides that it is a defense to prosecution that the interruption, disruption, impediment, or interference alleged consisted of speech only. The McLennan County what? Criminal District Attorney's Office initially refused the case against Tubble, stating that the MCC Police Department obviously failed to read the portion of the statute that says a violation consisting of speech only is not an offense. His termination with the college was also rescinded for failure to provide him with due process protections. Shortly after, as if the college and police department hadn't dug themselves enough of a hole, the MCC Chief of Police contacted the district attorney's office and persuaded the assistant DA to reinstate the charges. However, the same defense, as well as the sighting of Houston v. Hill, was used to drop the charges the second time. The college also went back after his tenure, terminating him for a second time in August of 2022. And now, in Professor Hubble's lawsuit, citing First and Fourteenth Amendment violations, it is claimed that the school's decision to terminate him was in response to a complaint he filed against the school alleging excessive full-time faculty workloads, as well as other complaints. Professor Hubble's lawyer notes that this is suggestive that college administrators acted out of their- I'm not gonna lie, right? This seems like P Professor Hubble, right? Just because his uh, reaction to the cop you know what I'm saying? Pulling that guy over and he was trying to get to the handicap spot, which he could have went around. Pro Professor Hubble seemed like a menace, you know what I'm saying? He seems like he has uh, uh, black Air Force energy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he seems like a menace, and that's probably one of the reasons why the school was, like, was trying to get rid of him. Like, oh, this incident happened, so we're going to fire you. It seems like he's been a problem for the school. That's one of the reasons why they hurt him. And got rid of them. So I can I can see that happening, but there's laws against that, right? You know what I'm saying? There's laws against that. Personal grudges with Hubble, making him the first tenured professor to have ever been terminated at the school, despite other professors with much more severe charges. A jury trial for the lawsuit is now set for January of 2024. I will Ooh, certainly be watching world? this case and will let you know if anything changes. That's crazy. But let me know bro. what you think. Was this officer out of line? Does Professor Hubble's lawsuit hold any weight? I'll leave a link to Ooh. the lawsuit down below if you'd like to. That's a good question. More. What do y'all think? I think, me me personally, I think him, like, they're going back after him and charging him for a felony for that. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, he kind of impeded a, a bit, yeah. Like he said, it's freedom of speech. And she moved for him. You know what I'm saying? She absolutely moved for him. So it could have been that much of a big of a deal, right? I think if she didn't move for him and he still went on his little rant, then maybe, right? But he asked the officer, yeah, he might have he might have yelled it, but he said, please, could you move your vehicle? She moved it and he walked inside. No problems. The fact that he went back after him for a peeing the traffic stop. All that other stuff and giving a felony for is ridiculous. And for the school to just upright and fire him for that. Like I said, I think he was I think he's been a problem for the school. And I think this was this was their out. Like, hey, you're out of here. Then to hire him back because they knew they was wrong. Then to fire him again because uh I don't know. Like I said, I think the professor is a problem. The school was just trying to get well, they just found a way to get rid of him. Uh, the cops are wrong for even going back after him for that. So, if anything, he probably can get the uh, money from the the law enforcement agency. Mm, he might be able to get some money from the school too. Especially if uh, you got people that still work for you with worse charges than him. You know what I'm saying? So, he... he he probably looking at a good one. Another the way he don't have to work no more type of good one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what y'all think, man? Y'all let me know in the comment section. The, does did he deserve to get arrested and fired? Does he have a case for uh, for a lawsuit?
does he have any kind of type, any type of case, whether it's with the law enforcement or with the school, vice versa or together. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know. This, but this is your boy T Nasty, man. Hope y'all enjoyed it, man. How's your boy? And I'm